From the standpoint of the dealer, this new star foundation will give us a structure that uh, doesn't uh, get distorted or stressed in the field as much as our past design. The big difference we should see here is a reduction in the number of adjustments we have to make to our slide out rooms. Newmar has full wall slides and we also have our slide systems where they recess on the exterior. Because we recess our side walls flush, any, any movement or any uh, change in the box in service is a lot more evident because you can see the reveal around the slide out rooms. We do have dealers making adjustments to try to tweak that for customers and this new star foundation uh, should reduce that significantly because there'll be less opportunity for the slide tubes to flex or get out of alignment when the unit is in service. From the customer's perspective, the benefit of the star foundation is that we're going to have a coach that uh, doesn't rack and flex as much when you're driving down the road. It'll be quieter, less squeaks and rattles, and again, an enhanced reliability in the operation of the slide out rooms. The first units that we build on this foundation, as we go out and test drive them, our test drivers are reporting back that they're the quietest units that they've ever driven. The couple key things we want to point out here, the way this is designed, again, we have this top cross member that runs all the way through from side to side. Uh, this whole thing is level and square because we built it in a jig before we brought it over here and set it on the, on the chassis frame. We have these big gussets in here that support the outer ends of the cross member where the main loads are going to be from the side walls. And as you can see, where these gussets come down, they actually line up with this cross bar in the bottom that runs across to the other side and then there's a matching gusset that goes up the other side uh, so that any load that's applied to the ends of these things is, is braced all the way across from side to side and so that the ends of these cross members can't sag or droop as they get loaded. These bulkheads are positioned uh, to match up with the width of our storage compartments and as you can see now this chassis is straight and level and there's a tremendous compression load that is uh, being absorbed by the steel structure in the chassis but none of that load is being transferred out here to these structures now that form the framing of the baggage compartments uh, and that, that's one thing that's very different from our previous designs because before all the framing out here was also seeing part of that load so these this method here will uh, allows these the structures which will provide the framing for the exterior storage bays and the, and the storage doors uh, to be much more consistent and reliable because they're not being deformed at all by the compression loading from the weight of the engine and the, the other strains that you see in the, in the chassis. Uh, when we, what we do from this point now is these bulkheads, you can see they're adjustable up and down because they slide in these channels and there's uh, just a slight amount of tolerance side to side too. So as this unit now goes through the production line, there's a, a large jig that comes down over the top of all these bulkheads and uh, the bulkheads actually will be lifted up slightly about a quarter or a half an inch off the chassis frame rail and, and that is designed intentionally so that they are adjustable so they can be adjusted up or down if necessary to get them all into a plane and once we get them all lined up in a plane and we hold them in that position then we'll go through and, and weld uh, these uh, bulkheads to these structural C channels and uh, that will finish the attachment of all the assembly and then at that point again the the cross members and the bulkheads are all in here level square true and they are not having to absorb that compression load from the engine as the previous designs did because that's already been dealt with in that original structure that we put in first. Once all these bulkheads are in here and we get them all lined up uh, we'll also come back and we add the steel framing at the front for the what we would call the doghouse or the cockpit floor. The engine cage and the steel framing in the back is, is also joined to the chassis at about that same time and the slide out structures uh, and support systems will be added to the chassis too. The star foundation also improves on previous designs in that those end structures, the cockpit structures and the structures for the engine cage and the slide outs, they're no longer being added uh, while the chassis is uh, in the process of being leveled, but they're added after the chassis has already been straightened out. So uh, we're also going to see a lot more consistency 
in, and squareness in our cockpit structures, the firewall being uh, more square and true on the chassis. And in the back of the unit, the engine cage and all the steel structure will be back there. Uh, will also be able to be leveled up with these bulkheads. Uh, so we're even going to do a better job of getting our floor level. And that was particularly important uh, when we went to our new slide system that we're debuting for 2016, where we have our uh, tile in the slide outs and, and to make that system work well. The STAR Foundation uh, set us up so that we could be successful with that, that type of a system too. The new STAR Foundation that Newmar is debuting for 2016 will be used on the Ventana LE, the Ventana, Dutch STAR, Mountain Air, London Air, and Essex chassis. The only Newmar pusher that does not utilize this new frame is the King Air because it already uses a different seal superstructure.